subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about the top interview questions for Microsoft Dynamics 365 for Finance and Operations, Financials. So let's get started. Question number 1, Define Budget Cycle. Your answer is, Budget cycles are defined as the length of time during which a budget is used. Moreover, budget cycles include part of a fiscal year or multiple fiscal years, such as a biennial budget cycle of two years or a triennial budget cycle of three years. Question number two, define budget cycle time spans. Your answer is, the budget cycle time span defines the number of periods that are included in the budget cycle. The budget cycle time spans page is used to specify the budget cycle time span. Question number three. What are import currency exchange rates? Your answer is, the process that retrieves exchange rates from exchange rate providers and imports them. This process is a system operation that supports batch processing. Question number 4, what do you understand by exchange rate provider registration? Your answer is, the process of enabling an exchange rate provider so that it can be used. By default, exchange rate providers aren't registered when they are deployed. Question number 5, why are periodic journals called recurring journals? Your answer is, periodic journals are sometimes called recurring journals because the amount, text, and other information are repeated each time that the periodic journal is retrieved. Question number 6, what is ER? Your answer is, ER is a tool that is used to configure formats for both incoming and outgoing electronic documents in accordance with the legal requirements of various countries or regions. Moreover, ER lets you manage these formats during their life cycle. Question number 7. What are the two different components of ER? Your answer is, ER supports two types of components. 1. Data model. 2. Format. Question number 8. What is a data model? Your answer is, a data model component is an abstract representation of a data structure. It is used to describe a specific business domain area, with enough detail to satisfy the reporting requirements for the domain. Question number 9, list some capabilities of model mapping that supports outgoing electronic documents. Your answer is, 1. It can use different data types as data sources for a data model. 2. It supports user input parameters that can be defined as data sources for a data model when some data must be specified at runtime. 3. It supports the transformation of data into required groups. Question number 10. List some capabilities of model mapping that supports incoming electronic documents. Your answer is. 1. It can use different updatable data elements as targets. 2. It supports user input parameters that can be defined as data sources for a data model when some data must be specified at runtime. Question number 11, what is allocation base? Your answer is, the allocation base is used to measure and quantify activities, such as machine hours that are used, kilowatt hours that are consumed, or square footage that is occupied. It is used as basis for allocating costs to one or more cost objects. Question number 12, what is the use of cost accounting? Your answer is, cost accounting lets you collect data from various sources, such as the general ledger, subledgers, budgets, and statistical information. Moreover, you can then analyze, summarize, and evaluate cost data, so that management can make the best possible decisions for price updates, budgets, cost control, and so on. Question number 13, what is cost entry? Your answer is, cost entries are the result of a transfer via data connectors from general ledger entries, cost allocations, and posted cost entries in cost journals. Question number 14, what is cost object? Your answer is, any type of object that is selected for cost control. Costs or revenues are either directly posted on or allocated to cost objects. Question number 15, what is cost behavior? Your answer is, cost behavior classifies costs on the basis of behavior in relation to changes in key business activities. Moreover, to control costs effectively, management must understand the cost behavior. 
For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.